Productive, creative, and positive greetings to you all. This is Sherelle J with the beginner After Effects tutorial. I've created this light wall effect, which you can use for your backgrounds, your VJ loops, and even some social media ads. It's a very easy effect to create. Uh, we have a step-by-step -step guide coming, so stay tuned. To start, we're going to create a new composition with the dimensions of 1280 by 720. We're going to name this new composition Shimmer Base. Now we're going to create a new solid, and I named this solid Shimmer Solid. The color of the solid doesn't matter. Next, we're going to add a fractal noise effect to our solid. For fractal type, we're going to choose the dynamic setting, and for noise type, we're going to choose the block setting. The contrast will be 149, the brightness will be about 6, and I adjusted the complexity to 4. Next, we're also going to adjust the scale to about 47.6. Next, I'm going to hit the stopwatch next to the evolution and add a keyframe to the beginning of our timeline. Then I'm going to add a keyframe to the end of our timeline. To really get our lights to blink at the end of this project, I added nine rotations to the evolution. Now I'm going to add a gradient ramp to our solid. Next, I'm going to adjust the ramp color to get a champagne gold color to add to the top of our solid. Now we're going to add the start point to our ramp. Now we're going to go to the bottom of our ramp and change the color to a reddish brown. Just like we adjusted the start point of our ramp, we're now going to adjust the end point of our ramp. I'm adjusting these two points to adjust the distance and the intensity between the two colors. Now I'm going to adjust the blend of our ramp so that the fractal noise pattern that we created previously can come through clearly. Now we're going to pre-compose this solid layer, making sure that we check move all attributes into new composition. I named this new composition Shimmer Block Ramp, but of course you can name it whatever you like. Now we'll add the effect CC Ball Action to our new composition. Now we're going to adjust the grid spacing to 10 and the ball size to 80. To make sure that we have the flickering that we saw at the beginning of our project, we're going to add a keyframe to the instability state. Now let's duplicate this comp layer and place it above our previous comp. On our new comp layer, we'll adjust the instability to make it contrast our previous comp layer. And I did this by changing it to a negative.
Next, let's change the mode on this layer to hard light. Now let's duplicate our first comp layer and move it to the top. Now let's set this one's mode to linear dodge. So we're going to duplicate our second comp layer now and move that one to the top. We'll set the mode on this one to lighten. Now that we've done that, we can render it. So you can see that in under six minutes, we've created a beautiful light wall effect. The evolutions and rotations ensure a variation in the color and light. Now, if you'd like to change the color uh, to something other than the champagne color that we have here, this gold color, you can go back to our gradient ramp that we had in the first comp and change the colors. So if you liked this tutorial, please be sure to hit the like button. And for even more tutorials, be sure to hit the subscribe button so you can subscribe to my channel. As always, I really enjoy seeing everyone's creations. Um, when you utilize my tutorials, it makes me very happy. So feel free to tag me on Instagram or to reach out on Facebook and Behance so I can see what variations you've come up with. Once again, this is Sherelle J, and thank you for watching.